Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna to go be going over my completed savings challenges and where I'm gonna be allocating that money for our short-term uh, savings challenges. That would be my videos that I do on Tuesday and then some of my self-care videos and my letter bucks. I saved um, or I completed a total I completed challenges that totaled in the amount of $1,840. Now that doesn't mean that I like started the cha the challenges all in the month of May. They could have been um, continuing on from the previous months. And then for my long-term savings challenges, which includes my Saturday videos, where th whether I'm saving for my boat, my vacation, my month ahead, and then my Tuesday or my Thursday challenges for my long-term sinking funds, we ended up uh, finalizing some challenges and that totaled equaled 5,288. And again, those are challenges that weren't just started in the month of May. I had been working several months on a couple of those challenges. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go over where I'm allocating that money. So for my short-term sinking funds, we have a total of 1,840. So let's count that up and make sure I have that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 25, 35, 37, 39, 40. So 1840 is what I have. And then we will go over where I'm allocating this money. And then at the end of the video, I also do an unstuffing and kind of, this is kind of a way for me to reconcile my, um, I guess you could call them my buckets or my categories. I like to have the prop money. I do switch uh, my savings challenge, the real cash. I do switch it to prop money when I go to uh, do my binders because I don't, I'm not a cash spender. So I put everything either through my debit card or my credit card. And then I just like to have this money to visualize, to have a vis visualization of what is in each of my categories. So let's go ahead and get my binder out here and we can get stuffing. Um, we are gonna start with my pets and they are getting $600. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And so far they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 29. 929 is what they have in their category. Okay, my chickens, they are gonna get $50. Okay, so they have one, 50, two, 20, 40, 50. So 250. For clothing, my clothing category is gonna get 60, 50, five, 60. And we have one, 50, two, 5, 10, 15, 2, 15. Okay, my fun category, we are gonna put $50 in here. And we have 1, 2, 3, 50, 365, 70, 72, 74, 76, 376. Gifts, we are putting in 150. One, 50, and we have one, two, three, 50, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 480, 490, 495, 500, 510, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. 521 is correct. Giving, we are putting in 25. 
And now we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 125. For the home category, I'm going to put in 300. One, two, three, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 750, 770, 790, 795, 96, 97, 797. Sam's Club, I'm going to put 200. One, two, and we have one, two, three, four, five, 550, 570, 590, 595, 96, 97, 98, 598. Self care, I'm going to put in 200. One, Two, and we have one, two, three, four, ten, twenty, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven. Yep, four thirty seven. Spending, I'm going to put in one hundred, fifty. 100 and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 50, 5, 5, 50, 6, 20, 30, 40, 5, 47, 49. So 649. Uh, YouTube, I'm going to put in 50. And we have 1, 52, 25, 26, 27, 28. And miscellaneous, I'm going to put in 55. So 50, 2, 4, 5. And we have 51, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 255, 257, 259, 261, which is correct. Okay, and then let's go ahead and get out my prop money of the amount I'm stuffing for my long-term sinking funds. And that total should be 5,028. So we have 2,003, 35, 4,000, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So 5,200. 20, 40, 50, 65, 75, 77, 79, 81, 83, 85, 87, 88. So 5,288. And let me open my binder. The first category we are going to stuff is my vacation. And we are putting in $216. I'm going to go ahead and put this little book to the side because I'm actually going to be coloring in some of my trackers. So 216. One, two, 10, 15, 16. Okay. And then I have each little icon here is $50. So now we're putting in two more. So that's four more. And then there was some left over. And we have another 50 here for another box. And so then we have five, six, seven, seven left over um, that I can't color in another box. So I will put that towards the front. So I know that that's left over. And we have 550, 570, 590, 600, 700, 800, and seven. 807. Let me make sure that's right. Whoops. Yes, 807. And then I am going to go ahead and color in these boxes that I have um, marked off here. And these cute truckers are from Hey K Budgets. She had them as a freebie on her channel at one time. I'm not for sure if you can still find them as a freebie. So that takes care of that one. The next category we're going to stuff is home. 
I still have not got my bill on um, how much it's going to cost to fix our well. So we will see what that ends up being. But for home, we're putting in 317. One, two, three, and then five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, 17. I think that's how I did it because I had some left over where I couldn't uh, mark another box and each box is a hundred here. So one, two, three, so that's three boxes. And then to make another hundred, we have 50, 70, 80, 85, 87, 89, 91, 93, 95, 97, 99, and then another 100. So then we get a color in four boxes and we have a total of two, four, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 47, 50, 47, 70, 47, 80, 47, 85, 47, 87, 89, 91, 93, 95, 97, 99, I think 4,800. I believe that's what that totaled. And that evens this one out. And I can color in four boxes. Okay, four boxes colored in this tracker. Next, we are going to be doing my meat restock. So let's find that. And that's right here. And in my meat restock, each little box, I did kind of revamp some of them. These are worth 50 now, and I think I had them worth a different am amount the last time I did these trackers. And we are adding 510. So 5, 10, and each one's 50. So in order for me to catch up um, as this tracker was off, I just need a color in one. And then that puts this one back on track. And we just have these two lines left and we will have met our goal. Our goal, goal is 1800. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11, 50, 11, 70, 11, 90, 1200. Oops. And that is correct. The next category we're stuffing is HSA and I had some left over last time too and each one is each little box is worth a hundred and in my HSA we finished a couple big challenges one of them was at 2024 and 2024 um, by Nita the almost organized owl and so and we finished another challenge too that went to my health savings account so that is 2805 is what we're putting in here 2000, 25, 26, 27, 28, five, because I only needed five more dollars to make a hundred there. And so we get to color in a bunch of boxes on here. So I will go ahead and get these um, colored in. Okay, got that all colored in. And I can't remember if I counted this. 25, 26, 27, 28, 2850, 2870, 2890, 2900. Yep. Okay. Uh, the next category we are going to stuff is our month ahead. And that is getting 240. One, two. 2040 and we get to color in a few more boxes and we are almost to the end of this one of being completely one month ahead some of you guys kind of have a question on what a month ahead is what this is basically um if in order to cover like just our basics, basic cost of living stuff, stuff that you cannot go without paying, it would um, cost us about $2,400 is kind of what I spend. And that includes like, you know, saving up for your, your car insurance and your house insurance, property taxes, um, 
your fuel, your electricity, phone bill, trash bill. You know, if you have a mortgage or rent, me and my husband are um, debt free. So we no longer have a mortgage um, that includes, we have our mortgage paid off. And so if something would happen, like if we would lose a job or one of us would get sick and we couldn't work, I would like to have a two, uh, a one, no, actually a three to six month buffer in my account to cover our basic living expenses for that amount of time if something, you know, catastrophic would happen. So we are almost, we're only two more boxes. So 40 more dollars away from being one month ahead. And I have a couple more trackers ready um, because, you know, I want to get anywhere from three to six months ahead on our living expenses. And our last category we are funding is my boat savings. Um, I am really wanting to either go camping or boating in the future. And I might as well, we might as well just save money. Um, so that way it'd be just that much less we would have to finance if we decide to do such a thing. And we are putting um, away 1,200, so 1,200. And I have marked off on my tracker how many boxes we're gonna fill in. Do any of you guys do any camping? When the kids were little, um, while we were trying to pay off debt and you know save money and all that, we really didn't go on vacation with the kids. A lot of what we did was camping. My mother-in-law, they always had a camper. And so that was basically our vacation every year. We would go camping with the kids. And to this day, that's what they remember. They remember going camping. They're like, I miss doing that. And you know, they're pretty much adults now. And that's one thing that they absolutely loved doing every summer as a family is camping. So that is it for that. And then we can go into my unstuffing of my categories. Okay, we just basically have um, my short term sinking fund, we just need to pull out of this one, I didn't have any major bills come out of my long term sinking funds. And I just did pull some um, change some prop money change of $50. So 5 10 15 20 5 30. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So that way I have a little bit of change if I need it. And hopefully this will be enough to cover it. Okay, I have my change. I have my little spreadsheet over here that shows what I spent. So pets was kind of a big one. Um, the month of May, we ended up having to spend about $535. And on my spreadsheet, that included things like, um, we had to board the dogs. Um, my grandbaby was born in the month of May and we don't live close by. So we had to board the, we kind of had a false alarm where we thought she was gonna go be delivering the baby. And so they were boarded for a couple days. And then they kind of um, waited. And so then she basically went the next week. And so we did have to board the dogs again. So that was for boarding for a couple times. Um, food and treats, uh, things like that. So the, but the main thing, it looks like it was for, uh, oh, and I did have to buy medicine too. I bought some ear met like ear cleaning solution for Remy's ears and I bought him a couple toys through Chewy so that totaled um and we do have three dogs so when we have to board three dogs that adds up very very quickly so we need to pull out in pets 535 one two three four five hundred and thirty five so I'll have to put in another hundred. So a hundred minus 35, I need 65 back. Okay, no, I can't do that. Basically I need to have 394 left. So let's do it that way. So one, two, three. 320 that's still not going to work out here i will break yeah i didn't bring enough change i still don't do that right so i'm going to grab a couple 50s with this hundred and um, make some change okay i have a couple 50s 
And like I said, we should have 394. One, two, three, 50, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 92, 94. So 394, 1, 2, 3, 350, 370, 375, 80, 85, 90, 92, 94. And I'll put this back. Okay. And, uh, the next one was gifts is what I took out of. In gifts, we spent a total of 175. And that included, I bought um, some stuff we took my mom out for lunch on Mother's Day, and then I bought a few things to uh, for my upcoming the upcoming baptism of my grandbaby. So we are taking out 175, 150, 70, five. And we should have 346. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 10, 25, 35, 37, 39, 41, 43, 45, 46. Yep. And why don't we do, I want to grab another 20. 10, 15, 20 and just kind of condenses just a little bit. Okay, perfect. The next category we spent out of was our home category. And we spent 249 and that, in, that mainly was, um, we have a water treatment system in our house and it has to be, they have to come over and do some maintenance on it every year. And we have um, well water that just, it has a, some gunk in it. So those components of that water sift system that cleans our water so we have fresh drinking water can kind of get um, some built up on it and sometimes they have to replace a couple parts on it. So that was maintained and so that was the main spending for our home. And that was um, 249. One, two. Um, let's see here. What did I say? 249. So if we do 250, then I'll just take a one back. And we should have 548. One, two, three, four, five, 20, 45. 46, 47, 48, 548. Sands Club, I spent $213. That's just on, you know, just stocking up, pantry stock up, things like that. And we spent 213. So 200. Let's put 223 and then I'll just grab a 10 back. And we should have 385. 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 85. Self-care spent $87 and I forgot what that was on. Oh, I kind of, which uh, I haven't been utilizing yet, but I purchased this um, program through Re Reverse Health is what it's called. And I have, um, there were just some like low impact exercises that I thought would be good for me, especially since I'm having that heel pain and I do have some back issues. So that's mainly what that cost was. And so $87, um, 100 minus 87 so i need 13 dollars back 5 10 12 13 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 
47, 48, 49, 50, 350. Spending that we spent 125 and let me see if I can look through here and see what that included. Um, I got coffee one day for me and my coworkers and I bought some makeup. I hadn't bought makeup for myself for years. I hardly wear any makeup. The only thing I wear is like I put moisture on my face, moisturizer on my face. I wear eyeshadow, um, eyeliner, and mascara. And that is pretty much all that I wear. That's the only kind of makeup I wear. And I had been using makeup that was like years old. It was like nice makeup. My daughter used to love makeup and she'd get very expensive makeup. And it was just down in her room. It's been down in her room for years. And I know that stuff expires. So I was like, I think it's just time for me to purchase some makeup. And so that is what I spent my money on. And that was 125 25 And we should have 524 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 24. Yeah, miscellaneous was the last thing I spent money on. And let's see here. That was $29. And that was for, we have like a trailer, um, a small trailer. You can probably fit like a golf cart on it. That's probably about what the size is. But we use it for hauling stuff if we need to, you know, haul branches or something to the dump or, you know, for have a bunch of junk that we're emptying out of the shed and they need to take to the junkyard. You know, we use it for things like that. If we need to haul our golf cart anywhere, our lawnmower, things like that. And that was for that trailer registration. It's only $29. So I just took it out of my miscellaneous. So 29. So we have 20, five, seven, and nine. And then in miscellaneous, we should have 232, 51, 50, 70, 90, 2, 10, 20, 31, 2. And I think I want to grab another 20 here. Okay. All right, let's see what we have here and hopefully this equals our total expenses was 1413 I had $50 and change. So minus 50, we should have, no, plus 50. So plus 1463 here. So let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> Okay, after I got <laughs> that all situated, 1463 is what we should have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 150, 40, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, I have 14, 63. Is there a dollar still missing from when they went flying? Yep, it was on the floor. Here's that extra dollar. It was, I kind of have like a ledge that goes underneath my desk and it kind of flew underneath my desk. So that was that extra dollar. So we came out perfectly right. And that is it. That's all that I have for you guys. And I, oh, I also wanted to kind of go over to how I keep track of marking this in my Ally account. So my long-term 
uh, sinking funds I have in a high yield savings account. And what I will do, um, I'll mark off here because I reconciled in my binder. I have like A slash B, I reconciled in my binder. And then now I will go ahead and transfer all this money um, from my checking account. I will um, transfer this whole amount to my high yield savings account and then um, divvy up all the money into their appropriate bucket. So I have a bucket for each one of these categories and I will transfer that amount into those buckets. So that is all that I have for you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye.